the Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Today, we're gonna be exploring Cerulean City after making our way out of Mount Moon and defeating the Team Rocket goons. We're gonna be just exploring, hopefully figure out more about this town. We talked to a couple people at the end of last episode. There's a tree growing in front of the Pokemon. It's blocking the way to the road to the south. I think there's a long way around though. Yeah, we'll have to find out about it, that. But for right now, let's go into some houses, check them things out, hopefully it'll be good. Oh, we have a Bulbasaur. I'm taking care of an injured Pokemon here. Oh, poor thing. Bulbasaur is fully recovered, so I'd like to take, to give this Pokemon to a trainer who's caught a lot of Pokemon and I can trust. That could be us. Ah, if you've caught at least 30 Pokemon, will you come back and get, to get this Bulbasaur? Yes, I will. How many Pokemon do I have? I gotta find this out. Bag, Pokemon box. How many Pokemon have I caught? One of 29. I need to catch one, I'll be right back. Give me like five minutes, lady. I will be right back. I want a Bulbasaur. That was one of the things I wanted for my team, is I really want a Bulbasaur. I'm really excited for this then. Come on, come on, come on. Where are there, I know there are Pokemon right over this way. So we're gonna get one real fast back on Route 4. I'm so excited for this, because we missed out on our chance of getting a Bulbasaur earlier. I tried my absolute bestest, but I wasn't able to. So I'm pretty sure I have a Spearow, but we're gonna try to get another one, just in case. How you encountered a wild Spearow? So let's get ready. All right, ready for this? Boom, nice, okay, not bad. Come on, Spiro, work with me here. I gotta get myself a Bulbasaur. Yes, okay, very cool. I couldn't have gone any better, could it have? <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so we got ourselves 52 experience and a Raspberry for that. Enough for Pidgey to get a level up, up to level 16. She's been getting a lot of experience. Oh, he, yeah, he. Wants to learn wing attack, but there's too many moves. Okay, so let's check out what we can do for Pidgey here. So wing attack is a 60 power, 100 accuracy, which is pretty good. The target is struck with a large, Im with large imposing wings, spread wide to inflict damage. We have mirror move. The user counters the target by mimicking the target's last move. Gust, a, a gust of wind is whipped up by the wings and is launched at the target to inflict damage. Sand attack, sand is hurled in the target's face, reducing the target's accuracy, and then finally quick attack. I think that we're gonna go over, I think we're just gonna go over Quick Attack. We already have plenty of Pokemon with Quick Attack. I think it's fine, because it's a really good move at 60 damage and 100% accuracy. Pidgey forgot Quick Attack, and Pidgey learned Wing Attack. Very cool, I like it. Okay, for a second I thought that was uh, Pidgey evolving. No, that was just us catching Spiro. But hey, guess what we have now? 30 Pokemon, let's go back to that lady quickly, quickly, quickly. I am so excited, I really wanna get a Bulbasaur. All right, so we're back in Cerulean City, where we will be going into this house, I think it was. And hey lady, I have myself a Pokemon, or 30. Uh, Bulbasaur is fully recovered, so I did the blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Ah, I've, I've, if you've caught at least 30 Pokemon, will you come back to get Bulbasaur? But I, I have 30 Pokemon. I have not caught 30 Pokemon. How can I find out exactly how many I've caught? Is it 30 different types of Pokemon? Let's check out our Pokédex, we haven't done this yet. Pokemon obtained 18, Pokemon seen 33. Wowee, so we have a lot more work to go. So before we leave Cerulean City, we need to make sure that we do that. Okay, that's gonna be a bit tough, isn't it? But I will try my absolute best, because we're a little bit more than halfway there. That is really tough, 18 obtained so far. But I feel like that's just types. So maybe that's what she means? Hard to tell, but we do have other places to check out, like this little bike store. I'll shit read the chalkboard in front. Home of the Bike Maniac. So we have a Bike Maniac, we have Bill, who's a Pokemon collector. I guess you could call him a Pokemon Maniac. I like riding on Pokemon, sure, but riding on a bike is pretty cool too. Yes, it is. These have really big tires, these bikes. My bike collection is impressive, isn't it? I won't let you ride or buy one, but feel free to have a look, really? How rude. It's a shiny bike, it looks tough. Are you curious about those acro bikes? Yes. It's by far the wildest bike and very different from the other bikes. That, that is the acro bike. It allows you to perform actions and you can even ride and you can do acrobatic stuff like an acro bike. You have the values, the techniques, and more than anything else. That is the bike for you. I didn't skip any of that. That was just all him. It's a shiny bike. It looks expensive. Oh, is he going to talk about all these? Are you curious about that bike? Yes. I, I like simple bikes too. It was a limited edition and popular a while ago. The refreshing color, there was a million, it cost a million dollars. I don't know how, if it really cost a million dollars. That might be an exaggeration. It was cool getting to see all of his rare bikes, but boy, that bike maniac goes on and on and on. Yeah, you could, could say that again. 
So should I just check them all out to make sure that like if I maybe check them all out, he will offer me a bike? It's a shiny bike, it looks tough. How are you curious about that, those acro bikes? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I guess these are all acro bikes. I don't really know. Okay, well now that we've done that, we've checked him out. I was hoping he would offer us a bike. Maybe we just don't get bikes in this game. Whoa! He is way bigger than I thought he would was. Electrode is just loafing around. Electrode, use tackle now. Oh, fail again. You don't want him to tackle when he's facing you. He's gonna tackle you. Can't read the sign from the back. Yeah, we can't get through here. We need to be able to chop down the tree. I just really want a Bulbasaur. Okay, hello. Fluff, hi Clefairy. And hello you. Huh? My dearest Clefairy's head. I was messing with its fur and it got really fluffy and cool, but it got back to normal when I kept messing with it. Huh, okay. That's it, all right. I'm guessing if we pet Pikachu in a certain way, maybe it'll mess with it, Eve's hair. Okay, so we do also have a little Mart over this way. We'll try this one out and see what we can get. Hello. Have you seen it? Have you ever seen a rare candy? I've never found one in a shop. I heard that it makes a Pokemon level up instantly. Yep, we actually got one last episode in Mount Moon. Once he defeated a gym leader and got, got a new badge, you should visit the local shop. It should have new items you can buy. It's a sign that you've become a stronger trainer. Yep, we know about that too. Okay. Welcome, may I help you? I'm here to buy. So we got Pokeballs, Great Balls, Potions, Escape Ropes, Repels. I don't know if I need too many of these at the moment. What I'm really hoping for is to eventually run into berries, but maybe there's just nobody who sells those in the game. I don't know. Anyways, we're heading out then. And we will just keep looking from building to building. It really, this one feels a lot more like a city. There's just a ton more buildings. Speaking of which, this one I cannot enter. So we'll head back this way. Because we've entered that one, that's the one with Bulbasaur to our left. Oh, this is the gym, Cerulean City Pokemon Gym. Gym leader Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. Oh, so this is all water types, cool. You're a trainer too, collected Pokemon, battling with Pokemon, it's a tough life, isn't it? I, I guess, I mean, not really, it's been quite splendid so far. So we'll go into there soon enough. I did want to thoroughly explore Cerulean City before we decide to do that. We've already talked to you. But going this way, what do we got going on? Um, oh, we got this dude. Only skill trainers can collect gym badges. I see you have at least one. May I tell you something interesting? S some interesting little bits of trivia about those badges? Yeah. Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? The Boulder Badge. It proves a person defeated the Pewter City Gym Leader. The creator of the badge clearly put some effort into it. It's rough and hard, just like rock type Pokemon. So, let's see if we can have him explain the second badge, which is was it the Cascade badge? Yeah, Cascade. It proves a person defeated the Cerulean City Gym Leader. If you look at it, if you if you look at it, you'll see its elegant shape. It was made just like to look just like a water drop. Watch out for the pointy end, though. It's a bit sharp. So yeah, I guess it's definitely a water type. Okay, so let's move through this little doorway. What is on this side of the house? Now, oh, we're outside again. Okay, weird. Go ahead and grab this. Got a rare candy, our second one. We're gonna be hoarding these for a while, as far as I understand, that's sort of the best thing to do. Okay, so let's head back inside. That was cool. We, I mean, we sort of just stole that from that guy's backyard, but if he isn't complaining, neither am I. Okay, so now that we've done that, there's probably still a couple more buildings we can check out, right? Like this one right here. It's definitely worth doing. We've found some good stuff already, you know? Whoa, whoa, how did you get him through the front door? I guess it threw the Pokeball, duh. I was stopped when I tried to enter a Pokemart with my dear on the, on Onyxy. That was utterly, utterly unnecessary. My Onyxy is such a good boy that it goes into its Pokeball in a tight space, even without being asked. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Jam Jam. <laughs> Why does he say Jam Jam? Maybe he just really likes jam. I mean, I do too. Strawberry Jam's really good. Anyways, is there anything over this way? You bet there is, there's somebody blocking this. What a shame, the people here were robbed. Someone even saw the thieves escape, and they say it was none other than Team Rocket, the protector of the poor owners of this house. Er, to protect the poor owners of, of this house from further harm, I won't be letting anyone in. Not even a little Rattata will sneak past me. Huh, I see, I see, there's a culprit over there, that's a Team Rocket guy. Have you interviewed him yet? Oh, what about this way? Oh, what's happening? Ah! Oh, Zebra, you've got it. You're not gonna believe this. Pokemon, it, uh. What? You can't just 
Battle me and just not explain the rest of your sentence? What's going on? You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Lion. Pokemon Trainer Lion, sound on a Pidgey. All right, well, let's deal with you. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. So lightning is good against flying, because this should turn out just fine. So let's fight, and let's try our new Zippy Zap move. <laughs> Eve, use Zippy Zap. Whoa, this looks so cool! Zippy Zap is pretty awesome so far. It's super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. A critical hit. Opposing Pidgey fainted. Because that's a guaranteed critical hit every time. You got 59 experience points for that. That's pretty good. Sending out Oddish. Do we want to switch Pokemon? I think so. We could try to use Pidgey. That might be not so bad. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so. We took out your Pidgey, and now we're using a Pidgey ourselves. Go on, Pidgey, I know you can do it. Okay, so for this one, Pokemon Trainer Lion sent out Oddish. It's a grass type, so this should work in theory, right? I don't know. We will try for right now wing attack. Pretty useful. Boom, whoa. It's super effective, the opposing Oddish use acid. Oh no. Acid is a weird color. I think I thought it would be purplish as well, but I guess since it's not a poisonous move, they decided to change that, because I think acid used to be purplish. Oh, you're healing it? Oh no. Is that back to full? Ooh, almost, but it should be enough for us to still take him down. Boom. You bet it is. It's super effective. Oddish fainted, and you have your third and final Pokemon, which will of course be Eevee. Party Pokemon also got experience. Metapod grid level nine! <laughs> awesome. Okay, so. We will switch our Pokemon, and instead we will get Lily out, and hopefully that'll turn out pretty well. So let's switch on over. Come on back, Pidgey. You did great out there. Indeed you did. Go on, Lily, I know you can do it. So this should turn out pretty well, I hope. We're gonna find out together. Wait, <laughs> so cute. Eevee is adorable. Let's do Swift. And, yeah, not bad. You're gonna use Tail Whip which should lower my attack, right? I think so. Defense fell, never mind. I'm always wrong. <laughs> always, always wrong. Let's do another Swift. We'll at least be able to attack twice before Eevee attacks once. Ooh, not bad. You're using another Tail Whip. You could be attacking right now, but you decided, decided against it. All right. Well, let's give this a shot. This should be enough to finish you off. Come on. Oh, you're using Quick Attack now. Ooh, I see your game. Not gonna work out very well for you, though, unfortunately. See ya, Eevee. Okay, well, we only got 84 experience. Anybody get a level up? Rattata grew to level 13. Very cool. You beat Pokemon Trainer Lion. Phew, okay, feel a bit calmer now. <laughs> you just had to get beat in a trainer battle to feel calmer. All right. <laughs> Deep breaths. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up, up ahead with where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see more rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when you hear this, that Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. He's just thinking about it, gives you the creeps. Don't get in there, go in there, Zebra. A Pokemon that talks, huh? Oh, also. Do we have a little dance we can do? Yeah, he's like, you got him good. Eve looks proud and is giving a contented smile. Let's go ahead and give you a pet then. Good job, Eve. Oh, why were you frowning for a second? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Oh, can we pet your tail? You bet we can. Awesome. Eve is wonderful. So should we go back and heal before we do anything else? I also, can I tackle this yet? Like what would happen if I try to go in? Because now I'm getting curious. Can I go in and just battle you? I guess I could. I mean, everything looks nice and set up. Not doing this now, though. If I could explore some other stuff first, I would love to. Yo, Jam in the making! Misty, the gym leader of the Cerulean City Gym, is a powerful trainer. You'll need a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to challenge her gym. Show me a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. Well, we do have that, but I'm not going to. You don't have a Pokemon that's at least level 15? Come back once you've trained up a bit. The Cerulean City Gym will always be willing to face new challengers. That's cool, but I wanted to do this later. I wanted to sort of focus on what other, other, whatever other story parts we could do. But since we did you know, go into there, we fought a little bit, might as well heal up too. Okay, so yep, everybody heal up. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Good. So yeah, next up I'll go north and I'll see what, what's going on with you know, Pokemon Gym 
not Pokemon Gym, just the gym leader, I was gonna say. But no, Bill Pokemon guy. I don't know. <laughs> and hopefully everything will turn out just fine, but we'll find out together. Maybe he's been turned, maybe he turned himself into a Pokemon. Wasn't that something they were, he, he joked about? It was something he joked about in that little magazine, so maybe he really is, he found a way to turn himself into a Pokemon. Oh, what did you find? Anything? Aw, you're so cute. Lily is happily staring at the swaying flowers. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a trainer. Do I have to take you guys on? You bet I do. All right, well, we got a bug catcher here. I'm glad I healed up. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? I'm sure we do. This is pretty cool, actually. I like it. It's a little bit of a challenge making our way down this way. You're challenged by Bug Catcher Kale. I think I pronounced that correctly. I apologize if it didn't. It's Venonat. Oh, Venonat's pretty cool. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. Okay, so let's give this a shot. I don't know how well it'll work out, but we'll try Zippy Zap again. We can at least get that critical hit. That'll make things a little bit easier. The posing is so cool. Boom, wow, we did that hurt. A critical hit. So you are down for the count. Was that the only Pokemon you had? 54 experience. I think it was. Yep, we defeated you. Whoa, good stuff. Wow, we indeed. That was so cool. I love Pikachu. Eve and her zippy zap move. Thanks to that guy for teaching it to me. Hello. I'm second, now it's serious. I forgot to talk to the kid again. I gotta talk to them after I defeat them to see what else they say. All right, what's going on now? You got challenged by Last Alley. Last Alley sent out Psyduck. Oh cool, Psyduck. Which should be a watered psychic, right? Go on Eve, I know you can do it. So we should just be able to do a normal like Thundershock and take you out in one hit. Or at least pretty close to it. So we'll try it and see what ends up happening. Eve used Thundershock, boom, we got it, awesome. Super effective, I knew you could do it. Okay, Eve got 64 experience, look at that, Eve levels up, she's growing up level 17, so proud. Okay, so as you can see, we get plus one there. Your party Pokemon in waiting also got experience points, low grid level 17. And you beat Last Alley, how can I lose? Well, you have to have more than one Pokemon would help, especially if there are varying types and of high level. That's what you gotta do. So let's talk to you real fast. I did my best, I have no regrets. Good. I did my best, I, so I've got no regrets. Well, it looks like these people always have good standing. Here's number three, it won't be easy. We'll see about that. Going against, uh, Youngster Timmy. So yeah, I, I don't know how easy it'll be to get that Bulbasaur if we have to catch 30 different types of Pokemon. I can only hope that also evolutioning Pokemon will help. Evolving, not evolutioning. Oh, this is a Sand Shrew, this might be a bit tough. But we'll try Double Kick and see if that does anything good. Try Double Kick and, eh, it's okay. Ain't bad. Two, hit two times. Poison Sting, ow. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all. Why does that have Poison Sting? That seems weird. We'll try Zippy Zap, see if it's enough. I know it's not gonna be very effective. It doesn't affect them, it doesn't affect them at all, so that was a bad idea. Just double kick them away, I think. Accuracy fell, ooh, that's gonna be scary. Can I land the double kick one more time? Come on, boom, one more time, come on, enough to take you out maybe? Yes, okay, see you, Sandrew. But yeah, that's gonna be real tough, but that's why I'll try to search for as many Pokemon as I can in today's episode. Because if it was just catching 30 Pokemon, I should be there now. Because except for Pikachu. I mean, I guess maybe if I caught one more. I mean, I technically caught Pikachu as well. So yeah, I have no clue why I wouldn't count. Maybe Mew doesn't count because I didn't catch Mew. Just sort of got it. I did my best, I have no regrets. You guys all say the same thing. A little boring. I am number four, getting tired. Not even close. All right, so what do we got going with this one? Of course, it is Last Rally. And she shows, throws out Meowth. Cool. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. So, we will just do the Zippy Zap again just to get some extra damage out. It's that critical hit. Oh, you're gonna use Fake Out? Oh, Flinching couldn't move. Oh, that's a waste of a PP then for Zippy Zap, that's for sure. Try it again. Come on. Boom. Whoa, that held this zoops away. What a fantastic move. All right, we got 56 experience for that one. Got some extra experience around, but no level ups. I lost two. We're getting lots of money for this and lots of Pokeballs as well, which is honestly a little bit more important at this rate. Okay, moving over this way, we got ourselves 
Okay, I'm number five, I'll stomp you. I would rather you not, that'd be rude. Okay, so we're going against Camper Kevin. Camper Kevin sent out Growlithe. Oh, Growlithe looks super cool. I really like Growlithe. Okay, so fight, and let's do Zippy Zap. Come on, come on. You got a Pikachu. Boom. Instantly just drains their health. It's so amazing. So there goes Growlithe, which means another trainer is taking down 77 experience. And we beat Camper Kevin. Whoa, too much. 220 bucks for winning and two great balls. Awesome. So what do we get now? With you. You're the last one, right? Congratulations, oh no, never mind. You beat our five trainers, you just earned a fabulous prize. You got a nugget from the mysterious trainer. You put the nugget in your bag. By the way, kid, how could how would you like to join Team Rocket? That's right. Oh no, we're a group of dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh no, it was all a ploy. Well, I'll have to beat him. I think we can wipe the floor with this guy. It's in the Team Rocket Grunt. Team Rocket Grunt sent out Zubat. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> should be able to one hit you with just normal Thundershock, I think. If you are flying, which you are, should be fine. So fight, Thundershock, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Boom, wowie, yep, that's gonna be super effective. Perfect stuff, good job, Eve. It's gonna say Zubat by mistake. Not the case, Zubat did not do very well there. Okay, 73 experience, and that's it. Team Rocket Grunt is about, oh wait, no, 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 it's not it. There's more, we're just gonna keep battling. Just keep Eve going on here. Eve is such a great Pokemon, and we are need her to be as strong as possible for Misty, so you might as well just, you know, level her up throughout today's episode, see how things go. So we're gonna use Zippy Zap real fast. This move is so overpowered, it's insane, but still not enough to take you out. Holy cow, you're tough. Oh gosh, we're gonna get poisoned here. Not quite, okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and use Thundershock, and that should be good. You have a tiny sliver of health. Shouldn't be a problem, and indeed it is not. Coughing fainted, and down you go. You got 73 experience, your party Pokemon also got experience, which means Team Rocket Grunt is defeated. Ah, you are good! I don't know, what, what is with his voice? I'm giving him the weirdest voice. All right, well we defeated you. With your skills, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Oh, and he's gone, he ran away. Whoa, look, that guy's a Charizard, not Charizard. That's a, that's the evolution of it. Charmander, Charmander. People get really upset if you do that, apparently. You call them Charizard when they're Charmander. I saw your feet from the grass. You don't mean like his feet, you mean like his ability to complete the thing, like his feet of success, I don't know. Completing the bridge, I don't know. Camper Shane sent out Spiro. Okay, well we'll be able to deal with Spiro, no problem. I know you can do it. So we should be able to run into the Pokemon around here because it is tall grass. Let's just do Thundershock, get rid of you as fast as we can. Hopefully not to take you down right away. Indeed it is, and it's your only Pokemon, so I think we'll be fine. Spiro fainted. And got 56 experience. Getting closer and closer to a level up with Eve was gonna take a little bit more work. I thought not. Got 220 for winning and two great balls. Likey the great balls, that's for sure. No Pokemon are really around here though. I'm sure some might show up if we wait around for long enough. We got three raspberries, it's really good. There must be some worthwhile Pokemon around here. Like, it'd be weird if there's tall grass but no Pokemon. Oh, right in front of my face. We got ourselves a Pidgey. So let me go ahead and try to catch you. I'm just gonna catch whatever Pokemon I possibly can. <laughs> Sorry, I just sort of rolled it into its face. Not what I meant to do. Once again, what was with that? Was it because you jumped? There we go, that's a great throw as well, so that should work out just fine. I wanna see if I can't find any new Pokemon around here. I just have a good feeling about this spot. All right, you caught a Pidgey. Awesome. So the bonus multiplier, we get 48 experience in total, which is enough for a level up for both Oddish and Metapod. You have to be getting close to evolving soon, at least Oddish, you know? We'll find out. Okay, so, here we go! What, Metapod is, Metapod is evolving. So we might have this one, this might be where Butterfree comes into play, but it is still cool just to be able to see the evolution actually happen. 
Bum 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 ba bum 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 da na. All right, so our Metapod evolved into a Butterfree, a Pokemon we already had, but still pretty cool to see. I don't think Butterfree evolves. Extra large as well. Pretty cool. Butterfree learned Gust. Not bad. All right, so it looks like they didn't have four moves. So we, we were gonna put away Pidgey, and then I also need to switch out Butterfree for something then. But let me just look around a little bit more. Actually, hold on. Let me make sure that party, we're gonna have to go to our Pokemon box then. And Pokemon box. Who should I switch out for? I guess we could work on, like who could use a good level up here? I mean, we already got an Oddish. I don't wanna work on another Pikachu, even though it wouldn't be the worst idea. We want some extra defense. I just don't know how high of a level I'd have to get the Pikachu to get the evolution, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just save it for later. We could do something a little bit different, like Spiro or Magikarp would be pretty cool. Let's do Magikarp. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I, I have a hard time deciding. Could try Chansey out a little bit. Level seven already, so like that's a good start. Add party over Butterfree. Gotcha. Okay, so with that being done, I'm gonna look around this area a little bit more for more Pokemon. We got like an Oddish, but... Whoa, Psyduck, I need the Psyduck. Yeah, Psyduck. <laughs> so we'll try to catch you. You are huge. You encountered a wild Psyduck. So let's try for this. I'm first gonna give you a Raspberry if I can. Yeah, use this item. Got it, boom. All right, getting ready. That's, no, I, I, I flicked up so that I could get ready to throw it. Uh, I mean, I got it, but it wasn't a good throw. Come on, come on. Ah, you know what, I, I think I gotta increase. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and use a better ball because I have 12 great balls, might as well. Get ready. Now, excellent! First time we get an excellent throw in a little while. Come on. Yes, perfect. All right, you caught a Psyduck. It was a giant Psyduck as well. So we get 101 experience for that one. That's gonna be a full level up for Pidgey, getting him to level 16. Chansey almost got a level up there as well. How exciting. Eve is really close to a level up too, you might have seen. Psyduck State will be added to the Pokedex. Always tormented by headaches. Oh, I know that feeling. It uses psychic powers, but whether it intends to do so is not known. That's such a shame. I really relate to that. I get headaches all the time. I have one right now. So I, I didn't know that about Psyduck. I like these little descriptions because I'm learning more about Pokemon. Okay, what about you? Are you another Team Rock in disguise? I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger. So I want to give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? Yeah. If you've caught, I, I've caught 50 Pokemon. You should catch more than that. Oh. So I can get the other starter, another mainstay I want on my team. I have to catch a lot more Pokemon then. Oh, there's a Venonat too, that's new. Okay, so I have lots to do around this area. First, let me go ahead and capture you. If I can get Bulbasaur and Charmander, today's episode would be cool. Oh, you encountered Wild Venonat. Okay, I'm just gonna get ready and try to catch you right off the bat. I mean, I guess I used a Great Ball, but that's fine with me. Two, one, caught. Nah, darn it. Maybe I should use a Raspberry, but I mean, it's already green. That didn't really work. I was hoping to get it more in the center that time. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's hard, I can't get an excellent anymore. Seems like the bigger they are, the harder it is to get it. Come on. Yes, okay, so we got ourselves a brand new Venonat. New Pokemon we haven't caught before, so it should give us some extra experience for doing so. 36, okay, not really. <laughs> All right, well that's still enough for a level up for Chansey. Very cool to see. All right, Chansey learned Tail Whip. That's good to see as well. Okay, so learning more about Venonat here. Its data will be added to the Pokedex. Its large eyes act as a radar. In a bright place, you can see that they are clusters of many tiny eyes. That is disturbing. Okay, well, now I know. So we got a Pokeball over here in Route 24. You found an X Speed Defense. Not Speed, Special Defense. You know what I meant. Is there any new Pokemon here? There's another Pidgey, an Oddish. I never walked by this guy. I'm pretty sure he's a trainer. But let me see for sure. Just in case like one or two of my Pokemon didn't count, I didn't mean to do that. Hi, Pikachu, you're so cute. Suddenly started giggling. You were the best. Um, 
I wanted to go back down and see if maybe, like I said, if one, two, one or two of my Pokemon did not count. Also, do you guys have any reaction? No, to being beaten and then realizing you were being led by Team Rocket? I suppose not. You should, but you don't. Okay, so I gotta go back to which house now? I think it was this one. Come on, come on, give me that Bulbasaur, because I will literally spend the rest of today's episode catching Pokemon. Uh. Oh, oh, here we go! The number of Pokemon you've caught so far is 31? Incredible, would you like to take care of this Bulbasaur? Yes, 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 please take care of this Bulbasaur. You got Bulbasaur, yes! I am so excited about that. So of course, when I beat original three starters, Bulbasaur's data will be added to the Pokedex. It can go for days without eating a single morsel. And the bulb on its back, it stores energy. Wow, so of course, it is Pokedex number 001. It's a boy and it was a grass poison. And we can take a look at it right now. We can rotate it around. I can make it cry. Why would I want to do that? Oh, can we like make it do moves? I think there's a way. Here, like that, and then like... Oh, here we go. No, did that not work? Oh, we can make, oh, I get it, okay. Next move. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. So like, make it stop moving or whatever. So you can get like cool poses. Oh, I love that. So we can do, <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. Is there any way to look at this afterwards? I guess maybe in like the Pokedex or something. Okay, so we put the Bulbasaur away in our bag. I am so happy about that. Is Bulbasaur doing well? They're doing great. So let's go ahead and get Bulbasaur into our team. Cause like I said, that's gonna be a mainstay for us. So Pokemon box. And where are you? So it is about just having, cause one of these Pokemon, I, must, I guess I must have not technically caught or two of them. So that's why it says I have 34 when in reality I've only caught 31 of them. So let's uh, add to party over Oddish. I mean, I need to evolve Oddish soon. I think Oddish is evolving really soon, so we're just gonna put it over Chansey. And I also want to back out of here and then go to our party and check your summary a bit more. Oh, you look so cool. Wait, where'd you go? Here you are. So, takes plenty of siestas. That's his characteristic. Can we get, yeah, okay, this is what I wanna see. So you have Vine Whip. The, the target is struck with slender whip-like vines to inflict damage, 45 power and 100 accuracy. And then there's Leech Seed, the seed is planted on the target. It steals some HP from the target every turn. Then we have Tackle and Growl. Very, very cool, I like it. So, we will continue leveling that Bulbasaur up, who's level 12, which is super duper cool. Oh my gosh, but also, nicknaming it, nicknaming it, for sure. So, continuing nicknaming them after our kittens, I wanna go ahead and Take out Pokeball? Oh yeah, we'll travel alongside of us, yeah, okay. And then I want to select you and change name. So, this one will be named after another female cat we have. I know that like, here's the thing. We have three female kittens and three male kittens. And while I, I decided already what I wanted to name them after, like which Pokemon I wanted to name them after, I didn't want to worry about the Pokemon's gender all that much. I sort of wanted to tackle it as my kitten's names because if not, it gets confusing. So I, even though this Bulbasaur is a boy, we're naming him Charlotte because that's a kitten's name. All right then, so there we go. Be sure if you're confused by that, make sure you check out the earlier episodes where I explained all that. I explained it in episode two, so check that out. But for now, that was so super awesome. I think that we should continue collecting more Pokeballs if we can, but I do want to check out the map. No, not in party, it would be in bag because Am I supposed to be doing the gym leader right now? I would like to do the gym leader in the next episode, but if that's not the smart thing to do, it's not what I'll do. Town map, use this item. Going up this way, oh yeah, this is the Bill's house. That's what we wanted to do. So yeah, we'll continue trekking on over to Bill's house. Maybe I should heal up some Pokemon as well. I am so excited to check out some Bulbasaur action though. It'll be really cool. Wrong way, I was just here. Okay, so back on the adventure we go. We'll definitely be getting that Charmander sooner or later, but that might be saved for after everything else. Oh, there's another uh, Venonat. For right now, let's just focus on some of these trainer battles as we make our way to Bill's house. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. Me too, that was last episode, right? It was pretty cool. Mount Moon was a bit of a challenge as well, but right now we are challenged by Hiker Franklin. Hiker Franklin sent out Onyx. 
Wow. Quite a big Pokemon. Go on, Eve! I know you can do it. Actually, this is not a good combo. I mean, if we use Double Kick, it should be okay. Let's try it out. Boom. Oh, that was okay. I mean, it's doing okay damage, but it only hit two times. I mean, it only ever hits two times. It's Double Kick. That was not as damaging as I thought it would be. I don't think Rock is good against Electric. I think it's just Electric can't hurt Rock, and that Ground is damaging against Electric. So you just gotta keep that in, keep that in mind. You're gonna use Rock Throw again. So while that hurts, just because there's a giant rock hurtling towards Pikachu, beyond that, it's not that big of a deal. So you can do it, Eve. We're gonna use Double Kick again. And we are good. Another Pokemon taken down. Okay, so we got 188 experience for that one, wowee. Okay, so, not bad. Once someone remove Light Screen. Should no one move be forgotten for Light Screen? I don't know. What is Light Screen? It's a psychic type move. A wondrous wall of light is put up to reduce damage from special attacks for five turns. I don't think we need that, so I think I'm gonna give up on learning that one. Eves did not learn Light Screen. Sorry. Maybe that would have been better than the the double, I don't know, the double team or whatever it's called. And Radita leveled up. Uh -huh, you worked hard. Awesome stuff. So there is another one done, which means we can keep moving. Okay, can I talk to you again now? Uh, you bet I can. Trat, a Zubat hit me in the back of that cave. Uh, what happened to you having plenty of gas in the tank, huh? I want to cast a tiny Venonat. Maybe this will be worth doing. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, you look like you might actually be difficult to get though. I will go ahead and use one Raz. Actually, no, I shouldn't. If it's not a brand new Pokemon, I really should hold off on that. And I probably, I'll try one. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna try anymore with the Ultra Balls. We're just gonna try normal. Normal Pokeballs. Come on, got it. Because I do not want to, come on. And now when I'm like actually, there we go. Oh wow, that was a great throw too, awesome. And, oh, but not good enough. Almost got it. There we go, that was not good enough. Sort of a shame. Uh, oh, come on, Venonat. Ready? Oh, so close. That was so close to the inside of the circle there. Come on. Oh, man, it won't give up. Keep going before it disappears, because it's gonna run off soon. Okay, so I got it in the circle, but the circle was way too big for it to be a benefit. But better than nothing. Yes, it was really better than nothing. So it seems like even if the yellow circle is really big, it's better than if the yellow circle is small and you get right outside of it. So gotta keep that in mind. We get 79 experience, which isn't enough for a level up, but that's okay. I'm still so happy we got a Bulbasaur. That's just I'm not gonna get over that for a little while. I'm gonna be super pumped about it. Okay, oh gosh, for a second I thought another Bulbasaur popped up. I was like, was, was it gonna be that easy to catch one this whole time? Okay, so let's try this out. Looks like there's another trainer over this way. I had this feeling, I knew I had to battle you. Can't even see who you are. Somebody with a blue hat, I think. It is Youngster Chad with the little Weedle shirt. Chad sent out a Diglett. Oh really, first time seeing a Diglett. Pretty cool. So this guy is actually a bit of a threat against Pikachu because he's a ground type more than he is a rock type as far as I remember. So we'll try double kick, but it might not do much. I might have to, like even if I did, whoa, it's super good, Never mind. We're fine. Wow. Uh, hit two times, the opposing Diglett fainted. But if I tried our Zippy Zap there, I don't think it even would have had any effect is a big thing about that deficit, you know? I knew I'd lose too. Well, then that's why you lost. You know the great saying, right? Those who say they can and those who say they can't are both usually right. You gotta train up more. You gotta believe in yourself too. Get, build up that confidence as a trainer. It'll sort of seep into your Pokemon skill as well. I thought there was a Pokeball over here. There is right here. Got a super potion, our first ever super potion. Should give us a little bit more health than a potion would. And we got you as well. Local trainers, come here to practice. Are you one of them? I would have to suppose so. Okay, so going against Bird Keeper Joey. All right, Joey, show me what you got. So now Pidgeotto, so this is what our Pidgeot, right? Our Pidgey, Pidgey is going to turn into, right? What well, goes Pidgey, Pidgey out Pidgeotto. So you got a fully evolved Pokemon here, look at you. Let's do Thundershock. And you're gonna do quick attack first. It won't do too much damage though. It's just gonna do like a normal amount. So I'm not too worried about it for now. 
and it's super effective, but not enough to take you down. Maybe I should just send ZP Zap, because if you do quick attack again, that's gonna be a problem. I mean, it'll do some damage. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not convenient. So next time, Zippy Zap, just gotta go for it. Okay, so got that super effective move going on. Now, you're just fainted. Do you have any other Pokemon? I don't think so. Okay, 180 experience, did that say? Level 18 for Lily, that's awesome. And we defeated Bird Keeper Joey. You're decent. I mean, decent sounds pretty good. I can beat you. Okay, well, that was awesome. Um, What are we gonna go do now? Okay, so there's another trainer just right over this way. Dad took me to get to a great party being held on the SSN at Vermilion Port. It was fun. I think we get to do that at some point in this game. That's pretty cool. So we get to see a little bit of our future, I suppose. Or hear about it. Youngster Dan. All right, Dan, show me what you got. You got Ecans. I hope you're not looking to join Team Rocket. Let's see how we can do with Zippy Zap. I think it'll be fine. You know, Eve is looking a little low on health at this point. We'll try this out. Eve, you Zippy Zap, come on. Ho, 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 boom. Awesome stuff. A critical hit, the opposing Ecans fainted. So there is that done. You've got 68 experience points. Your party Pokemon in waiting also got experience. And Dan is about to send out Rattata. We're gonna just keep going with, wait, no, no, no. Not what I wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to Charlotte and see what Charlotte can do against a Rattata. Switch. Come on, Charlotte. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Thanks for Dan sending out Rattata. Oh boy. It's an intense battle for sure. We're both level 12. We're gonna do the Vine Whip. The Vine Whip is like the signature move. You're gonna use by, oh, we're almost at a level up though. So close. That hurt. Well, we flinched. Darn it. Yeah, that's something Bite does is makes the opposing Pokemon flinch sometimes. Don't want to happen again. Oh, that really hurt. A critical hit. We use Vine Whip though. Boom. Oh, not bad, not bad. Come on, I believe in you. Let's try this one more time. Use Bite, don't land another critical. Oh, Charlotte, I'm so sorry. You can't lose in your first battle. Whoa, that was really good though. So let's try Leech Seed by, oh, please don't be 10 damage. Oh, we're so close, Leech Seed, Leech Seed. Let's see how well this works. It might not really work at well at all. The opposing Ratata was seeded. Come on, come on. Bringing us back up to, is that by Leech Seed? But I need to know how much health it'll bring me to. Not enough, so I need to, Pokemon and Switch, I'm so sorry, Charlotte, but you'll make your way there in no time at all. I, I'm sure of it. We'll just get Lily out for now. She just has to learn by observing for now, that's it. Little, uh, Charlotte's such a softy even in real life. You're such a soft little kitten. All right. So that'll hurt a little bit, but not that much of a big deal. It was super effective apparently, but the Leech Seed actually, does it heal Lily? And it fainted, okay. Interesting. Uh, I guess it heals Lily, weird. Lily got six experience, Charlotte got 50, so she's level 13 now. How exciting, a party Pokemon in waiting, also got experience points, and that is it. I'm not mad. Well, that's good. You know, it's, it's good to keep your emotions in check. I mean, if you're mad, you know, sometimes you gotta be honest with yourself and realize you're mad, but also just know that it's okay to lose sometimes. I'm off to see that Pokemon fanatic guy at the Cape. Okay, sounds good to me. All right, so going against this dude, who is it? It is Hiker Knob. All right, Knob, what you got? He's got a Geodude. So we could try our, our, our kicks, our double kick, and maybe that'll work. But if not, we're gonna be very careful. Double kick, come on. Use Bide. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eve used double kick. I don't know what Bide does. I might just like build up a little bit. Oh, that was good damage, but not good enough. It was super effective, hit two times. Fight again. Double kick. Storing energy. Okay, that's gonna be perfect, because now I can take you out right here before you can do anything with that energy. You do have another Pokemon though. It might just be another Geodude. But there we go, a critical hit on that last one. Not really what I needed, but hey, I'll take it. Hit two times, and... 84 experience, very good experience right there. I'm a chop, ooh. I think I'm gonna keep with what I got, and I'm gonna do Zippy Zap right away. I don't remember what is weak against a fighting, or strong against a fighting. So Zippy Zap right away. Use Zippy Zap, it's our secret move. Boom! 
Oh, almost taking you out, but not quite enough. A critical hit, low kick, didn't really hurt much. Okay, so let's go back into the action and we will do a thunder shock. Maybe fighting is good against fighting. Maybe I should have just tried that. I don't remember. I always get it mixed up. <laughs> okay, well there we go. You've got 85 experience points. Ah, just to level 17. He has gotta be evolving soon. Pidgey to level 17 also has to be evolving soon. Wants to learn the move Roost. Should no move be forgotten to replace with Roost. Forget an old move. Let's figure out what Roost is. Roost is a fine type move. The user lands and rests his body. This move restores the user's HP by up to half of its max HP. Ooh, is that better than anything we right, currently have right now? I mean, maybe Gust, because like Gust really is, is just a worse version of Wing Attack, as far as I can tell. So let's go ahead and just switch those out. Maybe that'll be better. One, two, and ta-da! Pidgey forgot Gust, and Pidgey learned Roost. Sounds good to me. All right, so we defeated Hiker now without too much of an issue. Who done got me? And real good, too! $500 for winning that one. Three more Pokeballs. Awesome. Well, looks like we're heading back out. Can we talk to you? The Pokemon fanatic sure lives up to his name. Seems he knows about many rare Pokemon. I don't think we talked to a lot of these people. On the SSN, I saw trainers from around the world. That's cool. All Pokemon have weaknesses, even the strongest ones. That's why it's best to raise Pokemon of different types. I'm working on it. If your Pokemon gets confused, switch it out. That's a good tactic. <laughs> it is. Okay, so let's move over this way and start taking some of you guys out. I'm a picnicker, and my boyfriend is a camper. So I think there was actually a point in the very original Game Boy games here, if you ran to a trainer in a specific square, you could actually be stuck and have to reload your, stay, your save. So, gotta be careful of that. You were challenged by Picnicker Kelsey. Okay, Picnicker Kelsey sent out a Goldeen. Oh cool, this will be perfect for Pikachu. Go on Eve, I know you can do it. It's a water type, so we should just be able to hit it with Thundershock. Probably take it out right away. And so, this might be an easy level up for us. Eve is very close. Simple as that. It's super effective, that's it, I knew you could do it. Like how the text is very supportive when we get a one hit takedown. 82 experience, enough for level 19 is Eve. Very cool. Nice, we got plus one extra special, or yeah, special attack there. And that's it, Picnicker Kelsey taken down. My conditioning isn't the best. I'm sorry, but we got two great balls. Since so the Picnickers always drop great balls, which is great. Okay, let's go ahead and take you on. Oh, here we go. I was trying to make him walk out of there, so maybe I could get behind him and get that Pokeball without having to chop down that tree. I'm a camper, and my girlfriend is a picnicker. Oh, the campers and the picnickers both drop great balls, I think. Well, isn't that cute? They're just a couple. Camper Dustin. Who sends out Squirtle. That's the other one I'm looking for. How cool is that? But it looks like our matchup, I have the winning combo. Oh man, Squirtle looks super cool. Okay, so let's Thundershock and that should be good. Come on. Ah, oh, good, but not quite enough. That's it, I knew you could do it. Okay, this really shouldn't hurt too much. It did hurt a little bit, actually. Gotta be careful. So let's try this one more time, Thundershock. And that should definitely be enough to take you down. Okay, so, there we go. And now, we got 82 experience. Your party Pokemon also got experience points. And we're good. Oh man, $260 and two great balls. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna run around to you real fast. Grab this Pokeball, which has a TM16 Thunder Wave. Wow, that sounds cool. Let me know if I should do that. I don't really know. Anyways, we got ourselves another Pokeball this way and another trainer. We found an Ether. Also, do not talk to uh, this guy. Hey yo. Oh well, my girlfriend will cheer me up. I wish my boyfriend were as strong as you. Wow, that's not gonna cheer him up very much to hear that, I gotta be honest. Okay, let's talk to you. My friend has many cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous. Well, keep catching Pokemon, I'm sure you'll find more cute ones. All right, we're going against last Haley. Send out Oddish, oh, we have an Oddish too. How cool. Okay, Eve, I think you can handle this. We might just wanna do Zippy Zap to get it out of the way, so let's fight and Zippy Zap. If you Zippy Zap, come on. Boom. And that's half your health. That was what I was hoping. It was not very effective, which is at this point to be expected. We really need, I think it might cry. Don't cry. Oh, I'm so sorry, just Zippy Zap. We'll heal you soon, I promise. I just, 
I need to find out what other Pokemon she's gonna throw out, because she does have a second Pokemon. Come on. 76 experience points. And then Pidgey. No, do not change Pokemon. Keep battling. We're just gonna do another Zippy Zap, and we should be good, and then I'll heal you up, no problem, soon enough. Fight. Zippy Zap. And this thing's going down. I probably could have just done a Thunder Shock, but I need to make extra sure this thing is taken out, taken out so we don't lose any more health. Super effective. That's it, I know you can do it. Critical hit, the opposing Pidgey fainted. 59 experience, very nice. And last Haley, I'm not jealous at all. You have a major jealousy problem. Gotta work on that. Adds on a lot of unnecessary stress. You came from Mount Moon? May I have a Clefairy? I mean, I do have a, no, I don't have a Clefairy. I have a, the other thing, right? Yeah. Anyways, let's go to our bag. And we have a couple of potions. We have 19 of them, so I can definitely use a couple of them on Eve. Use another one on Eve. And then moving over to Charlotte, use one on Charlotte. And then use another one on Charlotte, just to get her back up to full. And I guess I could do that with Eve as well. And then on Lily, I don't know, Lily seems fine. I think Lily can handle it. Only missing five health. Okay, let's keep going. We got ourselves a fisherman. You're going to see Bill? First we battle. Well, how pushy are you? Let's do it though. That's what you wanna do. Now we're going against Fisherman Wayne. He looks really awkward. Like he's in the middle of fishing right now. He's sending out Magic Carp. We have one of these as well. Whoa, we did a little flip. Come on, Eva, I know you can do it. This is a no-brainer. Just hit it with Thundershock. I don't even think we need to do Zippy Zap. I think Thundershock should be fine. Let's find out together. Boom, yep, one hit takedown. Excellent. There shouldn't be too much experience, I have to imagine. I don't know, trainer battles usually give a good chunk. 55 experience. Okay, Fisherman Wayne is about to send out Krabby. We're gonna keep battling. So we, this is our first time seeing Krabby in this game. He's looking as creepy as ever. I don't like it. Take him down. Under shock. Boom. Not bad. So two hit takedowns on the entire team. I guess it's more like two one hit takedowns. That's a lot of experience right there. Still not enough for level up, but I, I didn't see what that said. Three Pokeballs, cool. So what does he say, have to say about that? The trail below is a shortcut to Cerulean City. Oh really, I can't swim with Pokemon and the water is moving gently yet. So ho hopefully we can figure that out later. Sea Cottage, Bill lives here. Cool, so we can check out Bill and all that kind of stuff. But before we do, what's going around this way? Uh, oh no, this is the shortcut to Cerulean City. So we'll take this on the way back. We don't want to waste our time now. And anything over this way? Uh, a Pokeball, cool. And then whatever, oh, hi Bulbasaur. Or Charlotte. Charlotte seems happy to, that you won the recent battle. I want this Pokeball though. You found a lore, nice. That'll be pretty good, finding more rare Pokemon. And let's talk to you. This area is popular for dates. I'm a proudly independent coach trainer at a date spot. I'll let you know, I'm pretty strong. Want me to battle you? Yes, I'll give you a real workout. But this isn't a date, it's, it's just a trainer battle. Okay. Coach Trainer Amana, I like her pose though. Pretty cool. She sent up Machop, ooh. So maybe I should try it. I mean, it's your only Pokemon. What level is this Machop? 16, a little bit on the high side. Let's try double kicking the Machop. Is fighting good against fighting? I feel like it is. There is a Pokemon that like its type is good against its own self, but it's not this, okay. Seismic Toss, uh-oh. Whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh, that was insane. We could see the earth, we were in the atmosphere. What in the world? <laughs> Does that happen often? If you look in the sky, can you see different Pokemon being launched into the air? Okay, that was good, but not enough to take you down, unfortunately. Oh, it's happening again. Oh my gosh, there's so much damage. Okay, I'm getting you out of here right now, Thundershock. Jeez Louise, we just healed Eve too. <laughs> Come on, it's insane. Well, there goes Machop, he's out of here. Okay, so you're, we got experience. Rattata, level 15, not bad. Wants to learn to move Super Fang. That sounds like a cool move, I wanna check that out. You can also read the description for Bite, because I never did, it's a dark type move. Power 60, accuracy 100. The target is bitten with viciously sharp fangs. This may also make the target flinch. And then moving down this way, we have Super Fang. The user chomps hard on a target with its sharp white fang, or front fangs, I don't know, or white, front fangs. This cuts the target's HP in half. Hmm. 
What would that be better then? Probably like focus energy. The user takes a deep breath and focuses so hard at the critical hit. You know what? Let's get over Tail Whip. I think that's better. Got some interesting moves for Rattata. I don't know. Looks like a good, looking like a good Pokemon. Yeah, forgot Tail Whip and Rattata learned Super Fang. Cool. You beat Coach Trainer Amala. Am I the one who was coached? <laughs> she looks embarrassed. Sixteen hundred dollars for one in that one. Pretty cool. Okay. Woo! I haven't had fun like that in a long time. Here, take this. You got TM15 Seismic Toss. Now we can use it on our foes. Is for Seismic Toss. It deals damage equal to the level of Pokemon that uses the move. Yeah, okay. Never mind, never mind. Well, thank you for that, I appreciate it. Can we read the mailbox or something? No, okay. <laughs> okay, can we check out what's in the mailbox? So let's see how Bill is doing. Apparently he's a, there's a talking Pokemon in here. Oh my. Whole bunch of schematics, a lot of science work going on. Uh, Bill, you in here? Maybe we should check it out. No, don't go in there, Pikachu. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no way. Uh, hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I mean, I'm Bill, call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemon fanatic. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with the Pokemon, so how about it? Help me out here. Nah. No, no, don't be so cold. Come on, you gotta help a guy in such deep trouble. What do you say, please? Okay, all right. I wanna climb inside the teleporter so you can run the cell separation system for me. I thought I was gonna, like, just, he was gonna give me the option to say yes afterwards. I just wanted to see what he would say. You could do it from that PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you, pal. All right, we'll do it. Poor dude. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter so you can run the cell separation system for me. Oh my gosh, the screen says something about a teleporter. In he goes, does he need help opening up the door? Whoa, I should get in there, don't mess this up, okay? I might turn him into a different Pokemon. I mean, I guess Nidoran isn't that bad of a choice. Uh, you started the cell separation system on the teleporter. Oh my. This is weird. Uh, this is really weird. <laughs> oh no. Pikachu's she's so excited, Eve. You're such a little weirdo. Ah, I don't think it worked. Oh, or did it? I guess it did. Bill's back. Hi. All right, well, yeehaw, thanks bud, I owe you one. Hey, you've got your Pokemon box right there in your bag, good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon and your box gets full, send some of those Pokemon to the Professor Oak. It, it, it looks mighty full. Oh, look at me, I'd forget my own head if it weren't attached. I should do some something to thank you too. You did save me after all. Here, maybe this'll do. You got some SS tickets from Bill, nice. That cruise ship, the SSN, pulls into port at Vermilion City. They've invited, they invited me to some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple of tickets in there, so have fun with a friend or something. All right, that sounds cool. Maybe we can bring Lion on board. That cruise ship, the SSN, pulls into Port of Vermilion City, the, okay, yep. I you going to me, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so not too much more we can do with you. Those Pokemon sighting reports, which one do you want to see? Oh, yeah, let's read this. Here I am at the Seafoam Islands in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. I came across some rapids underground that were too fast to swim across. I was exploring that area when suddenly I was hit by a blast of freezing cold. It was as if I was stuck in a blizzard. It got so cold I began to black out. As my consciousness faded, I saw a pair of shiny wings over the waves. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Articuno? When I came to, I was lying on the ground outside of the cave for some reason. I need to practice my swimming so that the next time I can capture Articuno for sure. Which one do you want to see? Number 145. Here I am at the abandoned power plant in my search for a Pokemon I've never seen before. I had no idea you could, you could reach this place by swimming from that spot on Route 10. As I was exploring, one of the Pokeballs lying around suddenly attacked me. It was a, it made a huge explosion and knocked me out. But I do remember seeing some jagged looking wings as I blacked out. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? When I came to, I found myself lying outside the power plant. As soon as I became able to withstand those explosions, I'm going back to Camp Zapdos. Which one do you want to see? We'll do number 146. Here I am at Victory Road in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. It seems you can't get very far with without doing something about the stone walls in the way. As I was exploring the cave, I saw the most beautiful Pokemon. It was so beautiful that I got overwhelmed and passed out. 
<laughs> that time he just passed out because of the beauty of it. As I did though, I saw it flap its brightly burning wings. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Moltres? When I came to, I was all alone. Next time I gotta stay conscious so I can catch a Moltres for sure. I think you need to see a doctor. You faint really easily. Which one do you want to see? Finish reading. Like I'm, I'm genuinely concerned for you now. Nothing over here I can read? I guess not. Okay, then we're good to head out. We saved Bill. Oh, we could have done something with Pikachu, it, it seems. Is it too late? I think it's too late. Oh well. Who is this saying? You look surprised for some reason. Oh. I love it. So it looks like we could be going back to Cerulean City, but at this point, I am super duper pleased with our wonderful progress. I can't believe we were able to get Bulbasaur, and we were also able to save Bill, turning him back from a Pokemon back to his normal self. But now, next episode, we'll be focused on returning to Cerulean City, and of course, getting Misty taken down for our second gym. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watched this fun video, make sure you comment Bulbasaur Zebra, so you've watched at the end, you are a Zebratastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Heart. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.